Hi, class. Let's talk Recovery 101. If you've ever wondered what an SUD, RC, or the Rosk model is, or if you've never heard of these terms at all, you'll want to watch this recorded lecture. Why? Ah, how'd you get here? I heard recovery and some other hashtag confusing acronyms. Well, you're the perfect student then. A plus for asking. Maybe raise your hand next time. All right, all right. So really, why should we care about recovery? Well, you should care because there are huge gaps in treatment and recovery care right now. And how will my opinion change that? Research shows stigma prevents people with substance use disorders from getting care. This includes our vocabulary, opinions, and even how we give care and make policy. So even just being informed and changing our vocabulary helps? Yes! Stigma reduction and the disseminating of correct information helps immensely. But we still need more than that to create good recovery outcomes. Okay, so what is a good recovery outcome? Well, it starts with solid recovery communities. Is that like a treatment center? No, treatment centers are only the first step in someone's journey of recovery. A recovery community is a partnership of local, independent organizations coming together to support people in recovery from the moment they step out of treatment. So what exactly do these communities do? They offer resources like education, employment and housing assistance, advocacy, long-term support, and other resources. These things are essential for someone living in recovery. Wow, I didn't know that recovery was a lifelong pursuit. Most people don't. That's why we're changing the narrative to include a broader idea of recovery that goes far beyond a 30-day treatment plan. In the public sector, this recovery-oriented system of care shatters traditional definitions and builds a new paradigm for individualized, cost-effective care. SAMHSA says it best. A ROSC is a coordinated network of community-based supports that is person-centered and builds on the strengths and resiliencies of individuals, families, and communities to achieve abstinence and improve health, wellness, and quality of life for those with or at risk of alcohol and drug problems. Wow, I had no idea our systems aren't already set up like this. How do we make sure everyone receives the care they need? Unfortunately, many don't receive this level of care, but this is our opportunity to change the status quo. So how can I help? You've already begun helping by just understanding the issues that are out there. You can be a bigger part of the solution now by contacting your local policymakers and asking them to fund real recovery care, supporting your friends who are in recovery, and working to reduce the stigma around you. Because healthy recovery systems and communities create better outcomes for all of us. And the student becomes the teacher. <laughs> well done. I'll make sure to pass it on. I like leading the way. <laughs>